guests. I have Camille joining me. It's Caboose. We have Malik and we have Steve. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Real good. Real good. good. I can't get <laughs> every time Steve says fantastic. I just fantastic. think of that commercial because you say it like <laughs> almost exactly like that commercial. Um, which I feel like maybe they're paying you. After we had that episode, we're like, oh, I forgot about the product. I feel like they contacted you and they're like, hey, we just need you to say that every episode and like get it stuck in people's heads. So, like, I'll just say this, Camille. You know, ever since that episode, my house has been smelling real lemony fresh. <laughs> all because of fantastic products available. <laughs> Hashtag oh my God. <laughs> Hashtag not an ad, but will be. not an ad. If you Fingers want it, crossed. Yeah. yeah. Fingers Call crossed. We're working on it. We're working on it. Um, how was everyone's weekend? It's good. good. No? It was yeah, filled really with good. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I it watched was, a movie. It was filled with Falcon and the or Captain America and yes. the Winter Soldier. You got that right. Um, yeah, it was a good weekend, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good weekend. I'm like, I feel like every time like you hear about our weekends, because we're here in Canada land, specifically around the Toronto area, you're like, you guys are so boring. Um, just because I feel like you have more things that you can do right now because you're not in lockdown. Yeah, it, see, it's more things that I can do, but more things that I don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, let's be honest, right? People aren't the most hygienic. They aren't the most considerate of space. And mm. uh, in America, there's this new trend where people think it's just cool to not wear a mask. So <laughs> for that reason, I normally stay home, um, you know, and just kind of hang That's out fair. with my immediate friend group is all uh, very careful. Uh, I got my uh, first dose of the vaccine um, on Friday. So nice. Yeah. nice. I know. I Feel told him when I got my microchip installed and I get 5G in about Yeah, you're, fi you're 5G ready. <laughs> Let's go. I'm, I'm ready to go. But yeah, no, so I did that. Uh, it's been a good weekend. Watched Mortal Kombat, watched uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Um, and I'm excited to talk about this movie because it was a good, it was a good, uh, good time. Yeah. Oh, OK. All right. Well, like Malik, is, Malik said, we're going to actually be talking about the movie. We're going to be talking about it for like half of this episode. We'll be diving into a spoiler free review overview. It's going to be very general. If you're thinking of seeing the movie, um, then you will have that to kind of inform you, because obviously our opinions matter here. Um, we're also going to be um, talking more in depth after that spoiler free review. We'll do all the warnings before we get into it. And then we're going to be talking about specifics, which I'm very interested to hear what Caboose thinks, because we know he loves this franchise so much. And you're kind of a creator in this space, apparently. Yeah. Um, so I heard. Apparently. So, yeah. So I'm Rumor kinda, has it. Yeah. I, I want to know what you think. After all the MK talk, we're going to be jumping into Warzone, uh, the season three update. Steve definitely got th some thoughts there. I got a lot of thoughts about it as well. And then we're going to be talking about the xCloud uh, beta, which I, I'm interested to hear what's new, Malika, with that one. But for now, get your thoughts in order, all right? Think about what you want to say. Get your typing fingers ready. And then let us know in chat, um, because that's... That's kind of how it works. I like, do you guys get annoyed when I feel like you guys are like, she does this every week. But this is my thing, okay? Someone has to animate a piano underneath your <laughs> fingers. Yeah. Oh, my piano. God. I have That'd very long fingers. Um, when I used to take piano classes, my teacher really liked it. Cause like oh, I, that, yeah. that sounded creepy in my head, but I just meant because like of the long fingers, I could actually hit notes hit keys, earlier. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Enough you, know noticed, <laughs> oh, yes. you know how like most podcast people, like their thing is their transitions. Like they just got their transitions down. Yeah. You always like have a full stop and then like a joke or an anecdote. And I, oh, really? and, it's That's the best. Yeah. and you, and you always tie it in somehow to the next thing, but it's, it's great. Keep oh my up. gosh oh thank you now you're the, the expectations are up here when really <laughs> new viewers should be down here because we don't know where this <laughs> is gonna go all right uh <laughs> let's get into our first topic this weekend um mortal kombat the movie the 2021 movie um yeah. had a, a big shoes to fill from the 1990s movie that everyone loved and adored with the killer soundtrack mm -hmm. it came mm -hmm. out this weekend yep. uh it was on hbo max for you know the Americans out there, and then for us Canadians, we had to pay to rent it. Um, which I <laughs> was mean, it on Crave? No. no. Yeah, it on it's Crave? like a delayed no, it was release. On, like, 
premium video on demand. So Amazon, yeah. iTunes, oh my God. Microsoft 20, Store. $24.99 Canadian. But yeah. I mean, you know, what? you're supporting Ooh. the uh, industry, yeah. which which is great. Um, but yeah, we, we got to kind of figure something out. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the movie itself. I want to know what you guys thought about the movie. I think going in overall, we were kind of excited um, because of what we saw from the trailers. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I, th I yeah. think so. Very fair. Yeah, so ne we were excited going in. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think overall with the movie um, compared to what your expectations were? Remember, this is spoiler free. Uh, Caboose, you go first since you are our MK export. OK, so I'm going first. Uh, what did I think about the movie? I thought it was fine. Uh, I wasn't going crazy over it, unfortunately. But I also don't think it was like bad. You know, like I've watched it. I watched it a few times now. And, and, and a special thanks to the folks at WB Pictures. I was able to I was provided a screener. So I got to watch it a couple of times. I had the opportunity to. And I got to be honest, um, I liked it a little less with my second watch. Mm. Um, but the things that I liked, I liked even more on the uh, on the second watch. Hmm. I think as a whole, um, it, it started to I started to see some of the issues that I had with the film really like be apparent. But some of the things that I did like, I ended up really, really liking. Like, for instance, Kano is a standout character. Yeah. Josh Lawson is perfect as that character. Um, and I think in general, the cast is really good. Like Ludi Lin is Liu Kang, Max Huang, Kung Lao. Um, I think I don't think anybody was necessarily miscast or misused um, or pro probably a couple of characters were misused. Let's be honest. But there there was, for the most part, a solid cast here, even considering that some of them are pretty like no name actors like actors yeah. that we haven't necessarily heard of mm -hmm. um like josh lawson i don't know about you i have not heard of josh lawson no until i was trying film. to pinpoint if i've seen him in anything before yeah no. and he crushes it as kano crushes it with a k yeah by the way he is so <laughs> good in this movie an absolute blast every time he's on screen it's the best hiroyuki sonata everything i wanted out of scorpion he delivers i just wish the character was in the movie more but when he's there Oh, the presence is felt, especially because it's Hiroyuki Sonata behind the mask. Um, and then Joe Taslam, I was saying this on stream last night. They handle Sub-Zero like he's like a slasher character from a horror film. Yeah. The way he just kind of shows up wherever the heroes are and, and he's menacing. And I was going to ask this question because I had an opportunity to interview some members of the cast. I didn't get to ask this question, but I was always thinking about it in that this guy for the majority of the movie, Joe Taslam is in a full getup. He's in a mask, you know, helmet and all that, like a full costume. So most of the acting comes from his eyes, comes from his voice. Mm -hmm. And just through that, he delivers such a menacing performance as Sub-Zero, which I thought was great. Um, those characters, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, they nailed it. I'm very, very happy with that. But my biggest problem with the movie. Oh, let's not get, get into, into that. Into yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not get into the problems. Yeah, I want to get. Oh, we're talking just yeah, let's good. go around Malik. You next. If there's okay, nothing okay, okay. else that you want to add to what you like. Um, I mean, the action. Yeah, the action is great. I think the, the fights are great. And and yeah, so go on. Go ahead, Malik. Yeah. No, I mean, like that. You, you really hit it on the head. I only watched it once primarily because I don't think I would really want to watch it again. Like, mm. it, it's a movie that I would put on in the background and, like, every now and then catch the action scenes and be like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. But overall, like, I think a lot of the actors... Cole Young's performance wasn't the best. It wasn't my favorite character, mm -hmm. but everyone else made it. So, like, they made the movie come to life. And yeah. I think... The action is one of the things that we expected it to be. Yeah. Uh, we expected it to be fast paced. We expected, uh, you know, all of these intense fight sequences um, and, and really like the martial the martial arts aspect um, of all the fighting was super well done. Uh, and the way that the cameras moved dynamically in the fight scenes, um, like really sold it uh, on a lot of the stuff. And it was I think I agree with Caboose. It was fine. Like, I, I liked the movie, um, but it's not one that I would continually watch or even say um, was one of my favorites. Mm. Mm. Steve? Yeah, I kind of I'm kind of right there with you guys. Uh, it was a fine movie. I think it was serviceable for what it was trying to do. I mean, it really got it got us from point A to point B just to get us to the next 
set piece spectacle, which which is what we're all there for, right? Yeah. Um, to see these any combination of these characters fight each other, and they deliver that, whether it's like delivering awesome death sequences or like fatalities, stuff like that. Like that's what we're here for. But I mean, in a way, whenever we talk about like video game adaptations, we usually talk about them being too top level and that they're just appeasing to the general audience. I feel like Mortal Kombat kind of goes in the complete opposite direction. I don't know if that's Mm. intentional or if it was due to poor writing, but Mm. for some reason I just came out of that movie thinking like they didn't really touch on a lot of interesting plot points that I felt this movie needed to touch on Mm. to really strengthen the story as a whole. Uh, It glosses over a lot, but um, yeah, the dialogue is what it is. Uh, I I think that the actors portraying all the characters did a fine job. They just weren't given a lot to work with. And I think that all goes back to the script is that the script is the weakest part of this movie. Um, But what they do on screen is really cool at times. Like the hype moments really hit. Mm-hmm. And we'll, we'll go into those later, but um, yeah, I, I think the cinematography is awesome. The the effects, incredible for the budget. I think the budget was like ninety five million or something like that. And yeah, man, like I was super shocked that they were able to deliver like such great visuals in this in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it all comes back to just a weak a weak script, and hopefully, I mean. Again, top level, I, I think people should go check it out and hopefully we get a sequel and they can kind of learn to adapt more into into this movie, into a potential sequel and kind of deliver a better experience. But it was fine. I had fun with it. Okay. It's not a, it's not a spoiler to say that actors have already been signed for four more movies, right? Well, or, yeah, oh, no, yeah. Not, not, yeah, it's not a spoiler at all. Like, um, okay, I was just, I was making in sure, general, yeah, I mean, just to say, yeah. I, I also want to say to Steve's point too, the at the first fatality, I was like, wait, is that a I didn't like I didn't catch it at first. I completely missed it. And then I was like, wait a second. And then as it kept happening, I was like, oh, that's cool. That because yeah. it wasn't it wasn't super flashy. The way that yes. they did it was kind of subtle, but it it really hit on the mark every time. I completely yeah. agree with you. Like the fight sequences were were really done. Um well, they were not like amazing fight sequences Um, but I think how they just handled the fights in general with the movie were done really well as a video game fan and as a Mortal Kombat fan I think if you're going into watching this movie you're going to be pleased with how they kind of did the moves for each characters so like Mm -hmm. how they did the fatalities I feel like it's really true um, to the characters and what There's you're gonna one in see. particular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, oh, yeah, we'll get into that when we get into the spoiler review, but it, it's just done super well. And that's that's a fear that I kind of had because especially with a movie with this budget, graphics kind of has to make those fatalities um, yes. and the movesets so it doesn't come off as too cheesy. And sometimes we see in other movies where they just try to make it too realistic where there's not really any like fireballs or anything like that um but as you you know you see from the trailers and from like the featurettes that they were showing we knew we were going to get a little bit of that i just was so surprised with how much of it we got and how well done it was so i think the movie does fans justice in that respect um and overall it's 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 a okay movie um And I think we're all on the same level with that. If you're looking at it as just like following the story, the the story has its issues, how it progresses. um, Definitely some choices that they made, I I don't quite understand. And maybe the caboose, this is what you were talking about with your concerns. Yeah. Yeah. So if if, are we. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. So if we're getting into some of the negatives, I think my biggest problem with the movie is um, is Cole Young. Uh, that is absolutely for me the biggest issue with the film was my biggest concern going yeah. into the movie was whether or not this character was kind of going to earn his right to be in the Mortal Kombat universe. And I feel like it it just doesn't work. We'll get more into it when we talk spoilers, because it's hard for me to get into the specifics on why this character doesn't work. But essentially, it's just that it's just that going into this, I was like, listen, if you're going to make a brand new character that's never been in the world of Mortal Kombat, the protagonist of this movie they better earn that right you know because i wasn't completely against the idea of a new character that's happened in mortal kombat games in general they the the creators of the game have introduced 
plenty of new faces to the franchise up until Mortal Kombat 11, even having brand new characters that we've never seen before in Mortal Kombat being introduced. And that's totally fine with me. It's just that those characters, their abilities, their involvement in the story, it all needs to work in service of the world and the lore of Mortal Kombat. And I don't think a character like Cole Young does any of that. Yeah. We'll talk again. We'll talk more in spoilers because there's one thing, there's one question I want to ask you guys yeah. that I guarantee no one will have an answer for. Um, but in general, it, it just doesn't work. I would have preferred that Louis Tan just played Johnny Cage. Mm. Um, and honestly, none of my issues with the character of Cole Young have too much to do with Cole, like Tr Louis Tan's ability to act. Yeah. I think he's right. fine in the role. He does a good enough job with the script that he's given. And as well, I'm a big fan of the fact that he's very involved in his stunt work. Yeah. You know, he loves to do his own stunts. So you can tell whenever it's uh, it's a fight scene that involves his character, he's on, he's in frame, he's in camera. You're not seeing some stunt double. You know, there's no frame you can pause and figure out, oh, that's the stunt double. Um, so like, it's all Lewis Tan doing his own thing, which I think is awesome. Um, and I also love that he's like championing this movie and, you know, that he wants this to be sort of a movement that's created, you know, a, a film with an all Asian cast and what that could mean for people. I think that that stuff is great. And I'm not going to knock any of that. It's just the character of Cole Young doesn't work for me. And I think it would have worked if it was just Johnny Cage and you let Louis Tan kind of, you know, break out of a shell a little more, be a bit more charismatic, be a bit more comedic, you know? Mm. I just, there isn't enough for that. Yeah, I feel I, like, the issues with Cole Young and, and, you know, we'll dive deeper into it, but how they marketed this movie, um, I feel like it very much felt like you were going to see or around the story of Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I yeah. feel like people mm -hmm. going in to this movie with that mindset may be disappointed um, as I was. Um, just because of the focus with Cole Young um, yeah. and the the weight I think they put on that character because of the expectation that you have through the marketing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that I think anyone who's looking to go watch this movie needs to take into consideration. Cole Young is the main character yeah. <laughs> um, and the movie closely follows his story um, and it falls unfortunately into the cliches of um a cheesy video game movie um yeah. through his story and that's mainly the downfall like yeah, they mentioned up. and sorry to cut you off malik i'll just make this one more point it's just that like they mentioned that the character is supposed to be the anchor point right he's supposed to be the audience exactly right? that yeah. character is supposed to be the guy where everyone just explains everything to him because he doesn't know what's going on mm -hmm. thing is though is there are instances in the movie where he can kind of see what's going on and then still doesn't believe it. And it's like, now we're just wasting time, you know, yeah. and like yeah. just stop being confused. <laughs> I get that he's supposed to be the exposition machine, right? That that's exactly. his purpose in the film is for the audience to be like, what the hell's going on? He's supposed to be the character that's like, what the hell's going on? It's just, they still could have done that exact same thing if he was Johnny Cage. Yes. And he could have been a bit more comedic. He could have been a bit more charismatic, had a bit more screen presence than not just been the guy in the background, which Cole Young ended up being most of the film. Um, and so it just pretty much on all levels, that character doesn't work for me. Yeah. And I think I have I just have two major things to add, like to Caboose's point. One, Cole Young, I don't know if you guys noticed this, he only won one fight in that entire movie yeah. by himself. <laughs> one fight in a Mortal Kombat movie. You have a guy that off of the bat you say is an awful fighter, that he's just a human punching bag. That doesn't make sense to me because you're almost setting the character up to fail yeah. in in hopes that when he does succeed, it's this big thing. But it doesn't it doesn't feel like that. It's like he fi he finally did something useful. Like this finally this guy is just not in the background like you said. But to your Johnny Cage point too, it you get like this weird situation right where do you take this movie that's primarily an asian cast and do you put a, a white protagonist like johnny cage or do you yeah. have someone that is generic and like unrecognizable for the sake of diversity and i think that it brings this really good point is that art 
mediums shouldn't suffer for the sake of diversity. Diversity is always a great bonus, but when it comes to telling the story, if you don't do justice by these characters, then it falls to the wayside and the diversity means nothing because the rest mm -hmm. of that cast stands out on its own. But mm -hmm. Cole Young needed to be written in a way that he could shine and kind of make a little yeah. bit more of an impact. And I do like that very obvious of like, he's the audience that he has to be kind of told everything. But at mm -hmm. some point he should start getting it. We should start feeling like he's picking up momentum and on par with the rest of the cast. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I think agree. that's, I, I was just going to say, I think that's one of the biggest sins of this movie is that it doesn't complete the traditional hero's journey mm -hmm. for Cole Young. By the end, it just kind of it kind of falls apart. And we'll talk yeah. about that more in depth uh, in, in the spoiler section. But yeah, I agree. It, it, it's a very weak point. And it's just a shame because there's so much potential that they could have. They, they have like so many years and so many characters that they could have pulled from yeah. and put the put on center stage. To, and they just squandered that opportunity. Yeah. To Malik's point, though, um, I agree. Like, I don't think movies should suffer because of diversity. I think diversity is a way to amplify your movie. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like they could have still had Johnny Cage. He just didn't need to be the main character. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that would have been a great chemistry with Kano as well, um, because they are kind of the same. Um, sure. So it's so it's kind of interesting how they would have played off each other if that was the case if Johnny Cage was in the movie. Um, but, you know, I don't want to drag on our spoiler free review any longer. So I'm just going to ask you guys each this question. Was this a good video game movie and where would you rank this or compare it to in terms of another video game movie out there? without getting mm. into spoilers still, still spoiler free. Um, mm. Caboose, I'm gonna let you go first because I feel like you probably <laughs> gave this a little bit of thought beforehand. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds like I've done kind of nothing but complain and, and talk crap about the movie, but I actually do think it's the best video game Whoa. movie. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Really? Wow. Um, I know everyone's argument is going to be something like Detective Pikachu or Sonic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I just find this more watchable than than those two movies. And that's completely honest. fair. I think that's you know, completely fair. I, I, I just not that I don't think not that I think those movies are bad or anything. It's just I'm not as compelled or maybe. And who knows? Maybe it's a bias just because I love the world. And yeah. I'm so like invested in mortal Kombat, but like for me personally like this this is the best and and before this it was the 1995 film that i consider the best so whoa 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 life. you think oh, you man. think that you think that oh my god i can't even finish the sentence you think this is better than the, <laughs> than the 19 95 film oh my god yeah. yes yeah oh oh okay yeah everyone answer that question too when we're going around because yeah. this movie oh, this movie commits more to the r rating of course i think this movie has way better fights than the the only thing i think that the 95 film definitely has over this is carrie tagawa as shang Tsung yeah. and the music you know but even then there's there's a bit of that music in this movie that and soundtrack for it the perfect moment where I I had chills down my spine. Oh, okay. It. Oh man, you really don't like the music. It was like too, it was a lot. There was a lot happening with that music. Um, oh. th I can't. It, this are this, you talking about the dubstep one that they put online? The one that played their theme. The one right after credits roll. You hear the oh, theme. Oh yeah, that that's oh, not that great. No, no, no. But no, I'm no. talking about in the, in the moment. I'm talking about what they use. In oh, in the film. moment. Yeah. 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 But that's not the official. That's like the. Right. That's not the official theme. So I'm saying right. the official theme sucks. The official theme doesn't even come it's, close. It to, doesn't to come the close 95. at all. Yeah. And neither does this movie. Um, well, quite frankly, it doesn't come close to the night. Well, it, it, it comes close. Okay. They do do the move set, the actions, the fatalities um, really well. The graphics, obviously, you get that update. But in terms of world building, I feel the 1995 movie did it more justice um, and more true to this story of Mortal Kombat and the simplicity mm. of it. That's why I do like that. And on, I like how Caboose is just losing his mind. I and disagree. Honestly, <laughs> Robin Shao is my Liu Kang. No one else could be my Liu Kang but him. Okay, he's he is my Mo Mowgli, was it, in Jungle Book? He <laughs> is my Liu Kang as well. Um, as well as, you know, obviously, Shang Tsung, the performance of the 1995. Yeah, yeah um, This, I don't think, is a bad video game movie. Um, but it's not the best. I would probably place this with 
the Tomb Raider movies, like the Laura, like oh, okay. the, the the Jolie. Yeah, the Jolie. Tomb, Jolie? Yeah, the what? Jolie Tomb Raider movies. I would, I'm sorry. I could agree to that. Um, Steve or Malik, do you want to go next? Steve, go ahead. Okay. No, I was going to say like if we're if we're comparing it to other ones, I'm right there with you, Camille. It's it's up there with like just the Tomb the original Tomb Raider yeah. movies. Oh but God. in no in no world is this one less than the 95 version okay. of Mortal Kombat. Okay. I, I I think in, other than what Kabu said, the music. I think yeah, the '95 version had the music down pat. This one I think did everything better in terms of just visuals, in terms of just fan service. Mm. Um, I'm just hitting those hype moments, but uh, yeah, is it a good video game adaptation? I think there are moments that are really good, but yeah. then there are moments that are just really bad. Which I mean. If we're talking movie, video game movie adaptations to begin with, the bar set so low <laughs> to begin with. I mean, so me saying that it, it, it's not great or it, it's serviceable, I think, yeah. That's about it's average. <laughs> it's average, yeah, honestly. And yeah, to Caboose's point, I think I do have like a straight bias, you know, putting Detective Pikachu up on the pedestal that it is in my heart anyways, yeah. mm-hmm. only because I'm a fan of that franchise. I think it it does a good job of uh, balancing like fan service with inviting new audience members into the fold. Well, this mm-hmm. one, I think, really just spoke to hardcore Mortal Kombat fans and just kind of left everyone else to the wayside, in my opinion, anyways. That's fair. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree. Kato. It was... Kano was better than 95. <laughs> I missed the tinfoil eye. <laughs> um, no, I mean, it was it was a video game adaptation <laughs> movie. Um, I, I, I don't want to say that it was it was good because it it was OK. I felt like they purposefully left out a lot of stuff and like put stuff through the chopping blocks for the sake of teasing it as like this is coming up next, you know, instead Mm. of focusing on what you can do to make the best story possible. Um, I will say that there are, there are two like storylines and we'll get into this in this point. There's two storylines that they could have, you know, explored that were way better than, than the base one. So yeah, I think that's just the biggest thing for me. All right. There you have it. That is our spoiler. Oh, sorry. Did you have more? I think you were muted there for a second. No, no, you were muted for a second. Yeah, oh, was I? Oh, sorry. My bad. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> it there for our spoiler free uh, review.